already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the High Priestess. And it's paired with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so with the High Priestess, it can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, it's tied to femininity, to inspiration. So it is a time to rely on your intuition, your inner, inner knowledge, rather than your conscious mind or your intellect. So it's also important to pay attention to any dreams that you have. If you keep a dream diary or a journal, this would be a really, really good idea. So, it's with the Seven of Wands. With this card, you could find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top, things should be going well. You should be feeling good. Any projects that you have should be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it is the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help someone out by spelling things out for them. This Seven of Wands, it can point towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Okay, so what I'm getting with this recent past energy, what I'm picking up with this High Priestess and the Seven of Wands being clarified by it is that you... The recent past energy, you're dealing with someone who was very, very attracted to you. Very attracted, because the High Priestess is a magical, mystical time. You could find men and women alike literally throwing themselves at you. The problem is with that is that you attract all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly, and it's not always easy to tell which is which. So your person was really drawn to you. Yeah, it's like you had a spell over them. Very attractive to you. This person wanted to come out on top. They wanted to be the last man standing with the seven of wands showing up here. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Page of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Swords. Page of Pentacles can actually be a card about boredom. In some ways, so you could be tempted to say or do things, to shake things and people up for a little bit of excitement. But you want to rethink the impulse, find a better use of your energy, because excitement, it can be created. Page of Pentacles, it's a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you focus, backbone, and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. Now, it's with this Nine of Swords, which brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. It can mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. With the Nine of Swords, it's a very physical, emotional type of energy. Spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Nine of Swords, it can point to a lot of activity, travel, being out and about getting things accomplished. The Knight of Swords is not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come. And that's a good thing. The Knight of Swords goes after their heart's desire. So coming up, Aquarius. Page of Pentacles. Clarified by this Knight of Swords. So yeah, like I said, your person is very attracted to you. Very drawn to you. They think you put a spell on them. Or it just feels that way. They come rushing in, coming up, or they might be tr trying to do a lot of this. Because this Knight of Swords will cut out anything that gets in their way. That's why he's got this huge sword in his hand and he's rushing forward. So, very excited and anxious to be with you. 
here they come. They're rushing in. But it looks like... Because the Page of Pentacles is showing up here. It looks like you might... For some of you, you're getting bored with this person. Yeah, you could feel like the connection has lost some of its luster. Or you're just not as excited about them as they are about you. So, let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is going to be. We got the Ace of Swords and with the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Swords can indicate new beginnings of some sort in your life, maybe on several fronts. Sometimes this new beginning it gets started by a separation of some kind. Could be from a relationship, from a job. Just know that as anxiety producing, as such a new beginning can sometimes be. Underneath it all is really good beneficial energy that will get you to where you want to go and where you need to be. Now, it's with this Four of Pentacles, which can be a card about holding on to things, people, money, situations, longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So when you get this card in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and what the others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it can point to anxiety, it can point to fear. Could it be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But you have to realize, being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. So, you challenge Aquarius, Ace of Swords, clarified by this Four of Pentacles. Yeah, like I said, um, I'm getting for a lot of you, you're losing interest in this person. Or you're just not as, as excited about them like they are about you. But like I said, this person, they come rushing in, ready to sweep you off your feet, or to, just to be with you. And then it's, it's, it could start to feel like this person is smothering you. Because if you look at the Four of Pentacles, it's the card below the word challenge. You see this man, he's on all fours. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. He's on all fours. He's got his hand on his money. He's got his hands on his money. He's got his feet on his money. If a huge brick was to fall out of the sky and hit him upside his head, he'd still be clinging on to those pinnacles in that same position. So you might feel like this person is holding on to you or the connection far too tight. In an uncomfortable way. You can feel like this person is too anxious. Maybe you feel like they're too clingy, needy. But it's a, it's an unhealthy feel. It's an unhealthy energy. So, you could be thinking about um, cutting this person out. That's why that huge sword is there. Yeah, you could be thinking about going towards a new beginning and just cutting this connection out. It's it feels un it's starting to feel unhealthy. Yeah, so we move on over and we take a look and see what the outcome is. We got this Eight of Pentacles and it's with the Emperor. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. But if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. So be clear. Be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, this Eight of Pentacles, it does indicate a very hard work, hard work period, and this doesn't have to be negative. 
but you have to be prepared for it. Now, it's with this emperor. The emperor shows that domination over the mind, over the heart, is sometimes necessary, even though it's not wanted. In fact, it should be welcome. That's what you must think about when you get this card in the reading. When hard choices have to be made, it is important to maintain your concentration and your focus. The emperor signals this, but he also signals that now is a time you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the emperor is the type that only uses his head and not his heart. So enjoy the assertiveness and the confidence that the self-control and focus brings. Do what you know is best, because if you can master yourself, then you'll have very little problems mastering most of the other obstacles that life will throw at you. So, for your outcome, Aquarius, Eight of Pentacles, clarified by the Emperor. So, like I said, with this Ace of Swords showing up for the challenge, it looks like you're ready to put this to a stop. Somebody's too fascinated with you. They just maybe want to always be with you. You're bored with this person, bored with the connection. There's some unhealthy clinging that they bring. Maybe some anxiety about losing you. So you pull out the sword, you go, you cut it out, and it looks like you're going towards a new beginning. Uh, when they reach out to you, you're probably going to make busy. Yeah. You're probably going to give them the impression that you don't have time or space for the relationship. Yeah, by making busy, or maybe you will be busy. And it shows with the emperor here, they're going to feel like you went cold on them. Yeah, because the emperor doesn't open their heart. They show no emotion. The emperor could be a boss, a leader, really arrogant. The emperor doesn't want to come across as being vulnerable. So yeah, you're going to make this person feel like you went stole, stone cold on them. Yeah, they're going to feel a draft, a cold draft in the room. Yeah, they'll get the impression, well, they'll pick up on what, what you're trying to tell them without actually telling them that you've had enough. Your energy is going to speak volumes because the emperor... Like I said, it's a very cold energy. Yeah. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, this key scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Aquarius, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this, so stay strong. Take good care of yourself. Come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles can be switched. You could be your person or your person could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend could actually be a family member or a situation, so take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. 
So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading and take care.